Hi, I will start uh, the second premier draft uh, Throne of Eldraine since it uh, returned to Arena lately, but uh, now it's uh, less than two days uh, till the end of uh, this comeback, this iteration, and uh, I, I want to play at least uh, one more event uh, before mm, it uh, it will uh, rotate out so to speak so uh, let's join or maybe start a draft table and we're waiting for other players and just like before I will try to provide my commentary while drafting uh, building a deck and playing but uh, as there is a time limit for uh, making picks in draft uh, maybe I won't be able to finish all my thoughts maybe I will have to focus on making a pick lose my train of thought so excuse me if that happens mm, building a deck uh, isn't uh, uh, isn't that uh, limited uh, So uh, I think I I will be able to um, to provide comments without any pressure. And uh, again, during games uh, there is uh, time pressure. So uh, so the same uh, thing as uh, while drafting applies uh, there. So we've got uh, midnight clock, which uh, is a. I think it's a nice rare. It's maybe not not a bomb, not uh, anything uh, particularly busted, but uh, still it's a fine card. Mystical dispute isn't bad, but uh, it really it's. Uh, below rate when your opponent doesn't play blue and above rate when uh, uh, he or she does so um, so that's a problem that's a quite nice uh, card this one is one of the, the better cards and uh, searing barrage is, is very good but i think i'm gonna stay with with uh, this rare so it's a mana rock when you need one but uh, uh, the best thing is uh, is the last uh, ability when you can draw uh, seven cards uh, and covetous urge is, is very good so uh, and I stay in blue, so, so uh, that's uh, that's a good thing. And Ram Gali is also very nice. This one is uh, pretty narrow. You got to play knights. This is a good card. This is fine. This is a good blue card. So. There are some fine cards here, but uh, the un uncommons are what uh, uh, these two uncommons are what makes uh, a difference. And and uh, I want uh, urge and stay in blue. And now it's 
it's a very good thing because uh, the best cards here seem to be black. Fallmire Knight and Reef Soul. Uh, you got some fine cards. This is a good card, but it's pretty narrow. Uh, these blue cards are good. Mm. Uh, but. Uh, but. Uh, the best cards here are these two black and uh, this equipment which you got to be Ragdos Knights to play it so it's not a good early pick. It's very good if you're in that ar archetype or already. And uh, black is is a nice color to dive into since I, I've got a blue card and Cavitus Urge. So I'm pretty happy with this and uh, now I don't think that color and familiar will be good in in this combination so I can not lock myself into this archetype and take maybe a good red card uh, this one is uh, very far from my first three picks so I think I would prefer this knight, this fox isn't bad, so tiny isn't isn't bad either. I think this booster uh, kind of sucks for me because uh, there's no no good uh, card uh, fitting my uh, earlier picks, and now we've got. Uh, Demir signpost and common, so so that's uh, that's a very nice thing, and uh, this common is uh, is also very good. Uh, well, being in mo one of my colors so far, skewer isn't bad, but uh, I think you you have to be in uh, foot synergy to want it. In my previous deck, I played it, and it was quite nice. This is a good card, those two green cards, the cards are very good, but I think I'm gonna uh, try to lock myself into Demir and, uh, and if, if, uh, if it stays open I, I will end up in Demir. Folio is a very good uh, limited card, I think. Uh, I played it uh, during uh, pr uh, pre-release, uh, uh, tabletop pre-release of Th Throne of Eldrain, and I actually milled opponents just with with this uh, card. So it's a uh, it's an alternative win condition. Uh, you you don't have to play another mill cards just uh, when you have folio of fences. It's a card that's uh, Win the, winning the games uh, by itself. It also syner synergizes with uh, this and this to some degree because you can uh, choose a card in a graveyard and uh, and so tiny because uh, it enables this uh, minus uh, six minus zero uh, close. I think Wicked Guardian is uh, the best here. Wishful Merfolk isn't bad, Lost Legion isn't bad. I wouldn't want to play Eye Collector. Uh, but that seems nice. Doom Foretold. Uh, do I want to splash white for Doom Foretold? Uh, that's a tough question. I don't th think so. Maybe Polyon's gift wouldn't be wouldn't be bad. I don't want to play this card. Maybe a second Wicked Guardian. Maybe a Guardian. Doom foretold was was a bit uh, risky. I don't think it's a good format to splash a third color while not being green. I would have to place uh, signpost Scarecrow, I think, 
which isn't a good card and I already have a heavy four mana slot. Uh, I'm gonna stay with the walker here, which can be nice, but isn't anything uh, too good. This is a weird card and I don't think I really want it. Okay, third Wicked Guardian, that that, uh, that seems uh, too many for a first pack, so maybe this Doom for Dog was a, was, was a better option uh, in hindsight. Uh, I don't think I want to play anything here, maybe this is... Uh, hmm. And this gets a lot better with folio of fences, but still I don't think I'm, I want, I would want to play it. Which is Vengeance. I don't think so, it's uh, it's a weird card, more like a sideboard card, if I know I'm facing knights or something, so, so this, these two commons are very nice, maybe I would take Tom Rider first and uh, maybe the, I will be able to pick this later not not maybe exactly this on mint pick but uh, maybe some other copy in another booster so now we've got some nice options maybe not frogify I'm not that desperate for removal yet but this spell of brawl is a very nice card maybe not uh, fitting into uh, fitting to my deck uh, for now but its raw its raw power level is uh, is good already so i think you can play it in almost any black deck but Big flyer is uh, is nice. This one is nice. This one is nice. This isn't bad. So we've got some options here, and I think I'm gonna go with the flyer. And I'm far from mono black. And. I'm certainly not in a Gogari, so so this isn't an option for me. I don't like this card too much. Not if I'm maybe Ors of Knights, uh, uh, Ragdas Knights. Uh, it's a decent decent filler there, but it's not good in any other archetype. But this one is is good. Maybe I will be. A heavy one color and uh, light on uh, the other one of my uh, Dimir combination, and uh, uh, it's a it's a lot better than this Handwalker. The fatal case of two three isn't good, but it's not that embarrassing, and uh, and drawing a card is a very nice upside if uh, if you can manage to play adamant cost so now uh, uh, second flyer isn't bad opt is enabling this plus two plus two plus zero uh, line of text but I still lack some removal options so Reeves all 
is a way to go here. And here we have another interesting options because there's nothing maybe too busted, but uh, this is a decent card that uh, lacks uh, support in my deck totally. I don't have any way to um, to create food tokens. This isn't bad. But maybe, maybe if going to draw cards, this is uh, uh, just um, something like an all-in. Uh, take on, on on such a card, not 3 mana draw 2, but 5 mana draw 3, and if I'm able to uh, to dedicate the, uh, the whole turn for drawing cards, maybe it's better to just draw 3 on turn 5. This is another option to draw and I think uh, Reaper of Night is uh, is nice but uh, but I'm if I have uh, cards that draw me more I I'm not uh, I'm not seeking for a card advantage but maybe a way to slow down some aggression of my opponent and and uh, survive until the late game. So, so Queen of Ice uh, seems uh, uh, fitting now. No, I don't think I'm, I want to play this one. Uh, maybe a second, so tiny, but it's not a very good card. I don't think I'm gonna play two copies, but. Maybe it's better to have some options, and uh, it's better to pick some two drops, uh, even if they're quite uh, weak. In if I'm not knights, okay. I I um, I still think I want to survive until late game, not pick more late game cards, so the second Queen of Ice uh, seems good. And uh, Wishful Merfolk is a lot better than Jousting Dummy in my deck. So, so this is just uh, this was just the best pick of, of uh, the options I, I I had then, but I will be happy to cut it and. Uh, I prefer to play Wish for Merfolk if I don't pick uh, better two drops. Optis is very nice. This uh, I don't think I'm gonna play it, but uh, mm, Dwarven Mine was uh, even less likely to see play in my deck. So, what now? Do I want. Blacklands Paragon, I think I, I want this card because uh, I was searching for two drops actively and uh, lifelink seems uh, nice, even gaining three life and uh, taking an exchange with some other creature seems nice, so I don't have to be aggressive to want Blacklands Paragon, which in well is also good for my deck, but uh, I've got one copy, I've got uh, mm, Profane Insight drawing a card and Unexplained Vision, Covito Search is uh, a form of card advantage also, so, so I think I, I prefer a cheap uh, creature for now. And still, uh, I didn't uh, go into Mm, food. 
synergy. So bug naughty. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. It's a pack three. I don't generate tokens at all, food tokens. Opt it will be nice, I think. Or maybe I will cut it, but. It's uh, the best option I had. Animating Fairy is. Uh, uh, is nice. I. I think I. Maybe I have some artifacts. I don't think. I don't know if I'm gonna. Uh, animate. Folio Fancies or Midnight Clock, but it's nice to have uh, an option and 3 mana to 2 flyer. A Wind Drake is, is also nice, so... So, here, here we go with this one. The fourth Wicked Guardian. I don't have that many 4 drops, so maybe... My other option is Wishful Merfolk, and Wicked Guardian is uh, is a better card, I, I think, of. Uh, overall, so... And maybe I will pick some other 2-drop. I got just Justing Dummy, if... If I want. Corridor Monitor is... Is uh, nice, it's better than adjusting dummy in my deck. It's another artifact if I get some synergies with them. I don't think I have any, only with non creatures artifacts here. But untapping midnight clock isn't bad either, and we have so. Now I happily pick scavengers. I got some artifacts, so uh, they will bounce uh, creatures uh, mm, often enough. I think run away together is isn't bad. Slowing uh, opponents down. I don't want profit. Queen of Ice. And Reaper, nice cards for a seventh pick. Um, and still, I think I prefer even a third copy of Queen of Ice. Andres Goyle, I. I think I'm in in this archetype exactly that wants uh, this gargoyle and uh, four or more cards in hand. It's it's a good blocker early, and I have uh, options to fill my hand uh, in the late game, so it should be nice in my deck. It doesn't even have to attack uh, when it mills and blocks. It's already good, and maybe. It will attack later too, so so that's nice. Switching well is oh, it's another option to to be animated by animating fairy. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play anything here, but now let's take an uncommon to to my uh, collection. Because I really, really, really don't think I want to play 3 mana discard a card. Okay, Wishful Merfolk. Maybe I will play the second copy as well. Now I'm sure I won't have to play just in dummies at all. And another Guardian. I think it's too much now, but I don't. I won't play beloved princess. Anyway. 
anyway. Okay, so thanks for watching and I will be build my uh, deck in the next video.